Howdy, y'all. It's your buddy, the Texan Detective and Coin Collector, and I'm going detective. Well, I'm trying something different today. I'm going north. I'm going to a little town not too far from me. I think it says uh, 29 minutes away. Uh, there's a little park there. I've never tried it. It uh, looks interesting online, so I could go, and this could be a big bust. Or I could go and I may find a honey hole. Um, I think I do have a friend that lives up in this uh, area who hunts these parks, so may may already be picked over. But hey, I'm gonna try something different. It's my day off. We're gonna hit the highway, have a little fun, see some new territory. Might find a new uh, favorite little honey hole. You never know. I believe. There is a city park, which is what I'm going to right now. And they might slow down. But there's also a sport complex uh, in this area somewhere. Um, my good old buddy uh, Google, uh, she normally gives me directions, so I'll be asking her. But yep, on the road again. Going to Texas with y'all, my friends. <laughs> so uh, pack your bags, get ready, because we're hitting the highway and we are going detective. It's for all those people who can't get out and go detective, uh, you come with me. You can always come with me. The Texan uh, detective is a friendly man, and you are all my friends. And y'all are always welcome to come along with me. This is a little of the scenery that I get to drive through. Thought I'd show y'all. Well, anyway, I will get back with y'all when we get closer to the park. All right, y'all, we're here. The park's a little smaller than what I expected, but uh, it still looks interesting. I think I'm gonna start off with the basketball goal and work my way around. There's some people over there. Maybe they'll be gone by the time I get to that area. And uh, we'll see what we can pull out of this little park. All right, well, we're gonna concentrate on this area first, and I will get back with you find something good. Well, first target is a penny. I was just uh, actually just changing the program on my sport here from beach to uh, coin and jewelry and I found this surface fine penny. Can't beat that. Maybe this is a good sign that this park hadn't been hit. Well, let's keep going and see what else we can find. Okay, my second find and let me tell you this park has been trashy, and it don't smell all that good either. <laughs> I'm not sure how long I'm going to stay. But like I said, it's my second find of the day. Another penny. I'm going to keep on persevering. Those kids that were at the other little uh, tot lot had left, so I'm going to go see where they might have left. And we're going to keep on going, see what we can find. And of course, there'd be a train going by. Great. All right, on to the next one. Well, I finally stepped up to a nickel. I'll take it. Not very old, 19. I think that's 90, hold on. I wanna say 1999, which I'm probably, yeah, I think it's 1999. All right, well, I got a nickel on the board. Better than the pennies I've been finding. Let's keep rocking, see what else we can find. Well, I'm steadily moving on up. Not to the east side, but I'm moving to a dime. <laughs> hey, I'll take it. Hey, I got a question for you. What do you call a cow with no legs? Well, ground beef, of course. <laughs> All right, well, I'm moving on up in the clad here. I'm going to keep on going. And I may be moving on pretty soon because this park has not been very productive. But I will get back to you when I find something else. Well, this is awful interesting. I have no idea what it was. And it barely rang up. It rang up in the full range. I was actually hoping for some jewelry. But I got some kind of maybe a religious token. I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's got an angel on each side. Well, uh, if y'all know what this is, uh, let me know in the comments. But hey, I think that's pretty daggum cool. 
Uh, just goes to show you gotta dig those iffy signals because it just barely chirped. And I was kind of in a spot where I wasn't getting no signals. So I thought I'd go for it. I'm trying to block the light so you can see this doggone thing. Anyway, well, that's what it is. If you know what it is, let me know. It's really light. Some kind of token. All right, well, on to the next one. Sweet. All right, guys, we've made it. We're on Easy Street. Well, not quite. The road getting to the park with Easy Street. But hey, I found a little park here I can hit. I'm trying to block the wind of the camera. I don't know if I'm doing a very good job. It's a very small park. We got some people using it over there, but I'm gonna try it over here. See what I can come up with. And I'll get back with you. And the last park was kind of a dud. Except for that little uh, religious token. That was kind of neat. All right, well, let's go find some goodies. Well, I'm not on Easy Street yet, but hey. Found me another penny. It's a good start. I just barely got started here. But then again, the last park, I found a penny right off the bat. And then it kind of stunk in more ways than one. It had a, a sewer smell. I don't know if they had something backed up or what. Or maybe there was a big ditch behind it and it was a railroad. Who knows? But uh, it was a pretty little park. But I'm on to the next park on a new adventure in a different town. And we're going to see what we can't find. On to the next one. The next one better be good, right? <laughs> well, would you look at that? Talk about a fresh drop. Yeah. 2018 and 2016. It was just barely under under this pine straw here. Surprised I couldn't see that, but uh, hey, 50 cents richer. Easy street starting to pay off. <laughs> well, at least I. Uh, Found something interesting here. Found 50 cents, but not the wrapper. All right, well, let me keep going. Let me show you what else I can find. Well, Easy Street was letting me down there for a minute, but uh, now I got me a 1966 nickel. Not too shabby. I think that's the oldest coin of the day so far. This uh, park has a walking path that looks like it may have gotten a lot of use at one time, but not a lot recently. So I'm going to head up, up and down the side of the uh, walkway, see if somebody lost something good there in the past. And then I'm probably going to call it a day. i got to get home, get cleaned up, edit this video, and watch my Astros game. By the time y'all see this video, the Astros will either be on their way to the next round playing the Yankees, or we all going to be crying in the dugout. Mm. But now, nah, my Astros are going to win. All right, well, on to the next targets. Well, I got me one more nickel. 2017. Something about when the president's facing you like that, and you pull it up out of the dirt, and he's got dirt caked in his eyes and on his face. Looks like a freaking zombie. Whoa. <laughs> hey, but I'm still glad to have it. One more zombie coin in the pocket. I'm going to keep on going. There were some kids here, and they left, so I'm going to hit this tot lot. One last little hoorah at this park, and then I am going to do a wrap-up and call it a day. Yes, sir. All right, guys. It's your boy, the Texan Detector, and it's time for the wrap-up. Well, a couple of little interesting bits and bobs I found. I found this. Of course, it didn't ring up on the detector, but I found it under one of the swings. I thought it was neat, so I threw it in my pouch. This rang up, I thought it was a piece of jewelry, but I think it's one of those wraps the girls put around their braids, it's real soft. I got uh, 13 pennies, one dime, three nickels. That's actually pretty good for me. I haven't been finding many nickels. Two quarters that were literally fresh drops. They were just barely under some uh, pine straw. They look amazing, I mean, I'm not sure if I want to spin them or put them in my collection. <laughs> And then the star find of today's show is this beautiful, let me see if I can get it somewhere out of the light here. There we go, this beautiful little religious token. Not sure what it means or where it came from, but I'm sure glad to have it. And it's nice to find things like this on the playground. It means the kids are being introduced to the gospel. All right, but your boy the Texan Detector. Until next time, I should be having a coin hunt video real soon maybe right after this one. I've been saying that for a few days, but every time I'm gonna hunt coins, 
I'm watching someone else hunt coins. <laughs> but anyway, until next time, it's your boy the Texas Detector. And as always, happy hunting and stay dirty. Because if you ain't getting dirty, you ain't finding anything. And you ain't having no fun. And we got to have some fun, right? All right. Thank <laughs> you.